Matt, have you ever thought about transportation? I don't think I have. How do you expect to get places? I'll let you mention it. <laughs> Describe transportation, we're gonna have to know what transportation is. Well, what is transportation, David? Transportation is the system of moving people or goods from one place to another. Ah, yes. For example, we are in a car. A car moves things from one place to another. Beep beep. But, David, isn't there much more to transportation than just that? Well, Matt, you're right. While transportation is a system, there are also many sub systems of transportation, or parts of a system. David, how does the car go forward? Well, the car goes forward using the subsystem of transportation, known as propulsion. This is the clutch of the car. It puts the car in park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Alright, now that we're parked in my garage, we can show you the engine. This engine is a bigger part of propulsion than the clutch. The clutch is more a part of control. Control changes the speed of your vehicle, making it faster or slower, or even stopping it. This baby right here, Moves the, and moves the vehicle forward, allowing you to drive places. So Matt, how do you suppose the car moves forward without anything to keep it on the ground? Well, I don't know, David. That's because we have tires. Ah, tires. Tires are part of the sound system of transportation, known as suspension. They keep the vehicle up off the ground so it doesn't get ruined. Okay. If the clutch puts it in drive, and it's part of propulsion, what are the pedals? Well, the pedals, you see, Matt, <laughs> it's kind of dark, but they are part of the system of transportation known as control. Control changes the speed to stop the vehicle or make the vehicle go faster, like this. <laughs> Matt, if you are driving your car like this, see, how do you expect to change the direction of your vehicle? Well, I don't know, David. We have the subsystem of transportation called guidance. Guidance is responsible for changing the spectrum of your vehicle. The steering wheel in the car falls under guidance. Ugh. But you know, Matt, there's more transportation than just cars. Oh, really, is there? Yeah, there are three other types. You can have boats, planes, spaceships. These all fall under different categories as well. Cars like this would fall under the land category as well as bikes and ATVs. Mm -hmm. Boats would fall to the water category because the only thing good for traveling in water is a boat. Yeah. See this plane here? It falls under the air category because it can fly. And what about this rocket ship, Matt? Oh, the rocket ship must fall under the space category. Because it works in the airless vacuum of space.